So a lot of you are probably going to think that we are crazy <laughs> and the other half of you are probably going to like it or maybe all of you guys will hate it. Hey guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a DIY fireplace makeover. I think that's probably the best way that I can put this. So if you guys remember we did a complete living room makeover. I think we did two parts where we took off our previous mantle that came with the house and then we added this rock. If you guys hear anything in the background by the way, Scarlett is watching her iPad. Um, we added the mantle and then we added the top part as well. So all of that's about to change. I can already hear and see the comments now. Why spend all of that money on this project just to paint over it and change it? Or my favorite is why are you destroying your house? That one's my favorite comment. And simple answer that I can give you because we want to. That's, that's the reason because we want to. We love changing things around our house. We love doing projects. That's it, that's all I can say. Let's say hi Scarlett. Hi. <laughs> she said bye. So actually, I'm not gonna get started yet on the yeah, fireplace. Thank you again. Like I was saying, I'm not gonna paint the fireplace yet. And actually, Frank just went to Home Depot and he got some stuff for the top. You guys will see that later on. I'm first going to lay down our new rug. New rug. This is an eight by ten rug that I got on Amazon, and when I saw it show up at the door in a little box. I was confused. <laughs> Come to find out, an 8x10 rug is a folded up like this. I tried. I tried. But it came folded up like this. So that's definitely interesting. At first I thought I got the wrong size, but I looked on here and it says eight by 10. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the couch back, back over there, take this rug out. We're getting rid of this rug. We've had it for a while. It's lived a good life. We've had some accidents on it. God knows what else, but we are, we're gonna take this one out and we are getting this one, which I'm gonna like because this one is like not like a shag material like this. And actually this used to be a cream color and I shampoo it all the time, but you can see it just gets pretty dirty again. So hopefully this pattern will hide that a little bit better with five kids. So far, some of the stuff that I have found in the couch is trash, some toys. Scarlett, let's put that back on the couch, okay? More toys, a sock, penny, car, book, a water bottle, and then I don't know what that is over there. I think that's Play-Doh, but I'm not 100% sure. probably already see it in the camera because it is so dang obvious but you can tell where the couch was like what the rug this is what the rug looked like when we first got it so cream color super fluffy nice right and then this is what happened to it you can see an obvious I can see it so clearly, hopefully you guys can as well. But this is where the couch was covering a lot of the rug and then here's the rest of it. You can even see right here where it was covering just a little bit, it's all nice and fluffy and then it just goes to dirty, especially right here. That is crazy. So you guys can clearly see at one point it was a nice rug and then kids happen. Kids, this is all a result of kids and just traction and dogs too, of course. This is also super disgusting, but I, this is not. This is just some random stuff that was underneath the rug that I had no idea. I couldn't even feel it when we walked on it. Just all the crumbs and nastiness that was underneath it. I'm gonna vacuum all of this and mop in here. 
because there is so much stuff. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. why it's folded because it's pretty thin so this is what it looks like all laid out obviously over time it, it will increase and everything but now we're getting ready Frank is starting to prep the fireplace so we can start painting it yes. and oh let me show you guys the color we got so here's the paint that we got it's Valspar flat the it's color black. is tricorn black black black, black. Taking the mantle off. We're still undecided if we're gonna leave the mantle that color or paint it. We'll see how everything looks once I get all the stone painted. There's some random stuff in there. There's like a Play-Doh thing yes. and pencil. I found some questionable stuff underneath the couches earlier. I'm not gonna even lie. At one point I was like, is this Play-Doh? Or something else. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then so. all of this is coming down. All of this is coming down. What'd you say, Scarlett? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of chocolate, she said chocolate milk, but look, look at her mouth. There's no going back after this. I'm also very brave for doing this in a white sweatshirt, just saying. Yeah. There's a lot of like little crevices I've noticed. Yes. Shiplap is smaller in width, so we have to paint the top of the, the rock because the shiplap is a little bit thinner than these boards right here. So to make it look even and it doesn't have like a white strip on the top, it's easier to just go ahead and take this first row off. And paint it. And, and paint the top of it black. Paint the top of it black.
Frank put some industrial grade Velcro on his PlayStation. <sighs> At least we know it wasn't gonna come off. No, thank goodness. Update time. The paint, I think, is dried. We had to do another coat on it. We might need to put a little bit more. It's still drying in some spots, I see. We might have to go over it just a little bit. But Frank removed all the wood, the herringbone pattern. You can see it on here. It actually kind of looks a little cool. Kind of gives it a little rustic feel. So now we're gonna add shiplap to the rest to match the rest of the walls, I know the lighting is crazy right now. The sun's going down, which shouldn't take long because it's just this section right here. What I'm gonna have to do tonight or tomorrow when I get this finished is go back to Lowe's and get a little piece of trim to cover this right here mm -hmm. because of you see how, since I've already had this up for a while, it's supposed to be cut at 245 degree angle so it matches up square, which isn't a big deal. I'll just go to Lowe's and get like a little corner piece and just run it up like we had it before. Okay. The same okay. piece? Uh, kind of the same piece. It would kind of be like the same piece, but it's just at a 90 degree angle and all it does is just sit over top of it. I see. Okay. Yeah, that'll look nice. It, it'll kind of outline it. rug and doing the fireplace I wanted to get a few new things for the living room because I'm doing that like a mini makeover but trying to stay on a budget as well and right now I'm trying to distract Fletcher as well Frank is currently cutting the pieces for the ship lap um, but I got some new pillow covers to go on the couch to do the mini makeover so I'll link all that down below I'll show you guys once everything's done what all the pillows look like too but these are two that I ended up getting and the same one over here I got some inserts these are actually 20 by 20 usually I get 18 by 18 um, but I hope that these fit because I saw how big these covers are. I'm like, these are pretty big. Hopefully the pillows don't drown in them. Sometimes I have to wash them first, so we'll see what this ends up looking like. actually to do anything when you have kids it's like a juggling act all the time every day all day
So we are finishing. We've said that we are going to finish the fireplace definitely today. This is what we have so far. Frank has been working on the rest of the shiplap this morning. Um, and I think you're done, right? Uh, it's done? Very close. I've got to do some caulking, some wood filling. And let me climb up the ladder. He puts... I don't know what this is called. Molding. Like edge molding. <laughs> it's kind of like box everything in. It looks really good. I like it because it just makes everything blended because you guys know before we've always had this shiplap. So, you know, since we added this, it kind of came together and it looked a little awkward. So this just kind of hides that imperfection right there. Actually boxes in the oh, mantle Oh, I see well. that. That On looks both really sides, nice. So it, like, it, so it like squares everything up. I think it looks really good. Look like out of before you know how like last time when we had the uh like the chevron or yeah. herringbone yeah. kind of pattern if you looked on the edges yeah it, it didn't really match up Looks well a little awkward but now with this i can move the mantle just a little bit this way and everything i still got oh <laughs> i was like wait a second I still gotta put <laughs> but if you move it a little bit this way everything's going to be nice and even yes and it's all the way to the bottom of the rock yes it just looks so much better blended all together than what it was not that it didn't look good before but just everything looks yes. really good now so what's left now is he's got to put those pieces up we got to wood fill the holes from the nail gun for the shiplap paint it and then i don't know i might go in and do a little few touch-ups because i saw some parts where we've yeah, uh, missed kind of miss. some all right also we got a brand new recessed electrical box which all of this is going to do is take the electrical outlet from here Put it into here and then all of our plug-ins and everything wires. are going to be inside all the wires are going to be in yes. here inside the wall so there's no more droopy wires because that was one thing i could not stand. yes it's going to look a little bit cleaner yes everything's going to look a lot cleaner um, i just got to get a plate for this because that's not going to be there no more and then a plate for this because the direct tv box is gone. by cable so we just got a little few touches little final things to do and then it will be done done vacuuming mopping straightening up clearing and organizing the shelves because we kind of just like laid everything up there and set everything up there but everything is finally done so I'm gonna show you guys some b-roll I know you guys have kind of already seen like snippets of how everything turned out but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that b-roll So I will say this is a very bold thing for us to do, particularly me, because you guys know I love my whites and my neutrals, but I will say I 
absolutely love it. I love how it turned out. I feel like it's like such a statement or like an accent in this room. Don't get me wrong, the rock before was gorgeous. I loved it too. But this year on More With Moros with our projects, I am wanting to take more risk and do more bold statements. One thing I wanted to mention is that we debated on whether or not we were going to paint this black or not. Oops, I just noticed one of the flowers fell off. We decided to keep it the way that it was. It kind of separates the shiplap, even though I do love the black mantle look. I'll throw up a picture right here. So even though I love the black mantles, we ultimately decided to keep it that way. Some of the new things that we did get in our living room is finally we got a new rug. I ranted earlier in this video about the other rug. I love this one so much. It gives it a little bit more color. It just, I feel like it definitely makes the living room and it was so inexpensive. I found it on Amazon and I will definitely link it down below for you guys. I took a risk for you guys because when I bought this, there was no reviews. Um, I knew the brand New Loom rugs was a decent brand. For an eight by 10 rug, it was a pretty good price and the quality is really nice too. I did get some new pillows to kind of freshen up the living room as well. I didn't get all new pillows. I just got new covers i did get some new inserts as well but i got some covers to go with the couches well there's the leather one over here as well this one is actually from target so if i can find it i'll try to link it down below for you guys and then this is also a cover from amazon and then that's the same one you guys saw earlier in the video over there so this lamp is actually the one from the playroom and then i put the one that was in here in the playroom and just switched it around and i feel like just even by switching those lamps, it gave it a little bit of a new look. So a little trick that I've learned, instead of buying all new stuff, just switch some things around in your house to give it a new look or to freshen things up. So that's my little trick that I usually do. And then I moved this plant. I used to have my Monstera here. I put the Monstera in the playroom and this was kind of like by the entryway, my fiddle fig tree. And I just moved it over here. I think these candle holders are from Target as well as the candles. And then I'm not sure where this face is from. I think it's from Target. Um, my sister gave it to me and the stems are from Target as well but from like two years ago and then I realized that I probably need to change all the pictures in our frames because I haven't updated these since I think before I had Fletcher so at some point I'm going to print off and put some new pictures in our frames and I didn't film it for this video but I also cleaned our rug as I'm not a rug our couch as well so I shampooed the whole couch the cushions everything so that's the only reason why the couch looks really nice and clean right now. But yeah, you guys, that is our first, this is our first DIY project for 2022. I have so many more ideas in store for you guys, so we are just getting started. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this DIY project. Even though you probably will not paint your fireplace black or want to, at least you can watch and enjoy us painting our fireplace so thank you guys so much for watching you have to leave your thoughts and comments and opinions down below i love you guys and we will see you in our next video bye guys